Welcome back to the underground layer of string band guitars. Today we have my Carvin AE-185. I've been playing bass for a while. Um, I strung this up maybe a month ago, so the strings are still good, but we've gone through our winter change, uh, or fall change. We went from being humid in the 60s and 70s, now it's November 11th, and we're down to, it was 17 overnight, so uh, everything's like staticky, touchy whenever you touch metal stuff and shuffle your feet and stuff like that, so we know the dr air has dried out, so I want to make sure that this thing is ready to play. I've been playing a bass for a while, and tomorrow I need to play guitar, so hasn't been out of the case for since I changed the strings on it so I just want to make sure that it is set up right as you see it has a, a fixed bridge and what you want to do is you want to put a capo on your first fret and then hold down somewhere around the 17th some people say do it at the end of the fretboard carving suggests at the end of the fretboard and what you do is you take your trusty number 10 I could, yeah I turn on the other light I bet I could see these where'd my 10 go hold on a second Hold on one second while I find that. I guess I should have been more prepared. Hold on. Never mind. I was prepared. It was right there. I just didn't see the numbers. I'm going to have to get giant bifocals to be able to read that. So, what Carvin wants is 10 thousandths release, or relief, release, relief at the seventh fret. And we have. Just, uh, we've got like nine. They say they don't want it below five, but. Where's my picks? See if this sucker is even in tune. There is no fret buzz, and it's a little below that, so I'm happy with that. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're a little sharp. I love this guitar. It's neck through design, semi hollow. It has a piano bridge. So I can switch it over to acoustic. And if I had a decent amp, which that isn't, I'd be able to. I'd be able to show you what the acoustic sounds sound like. With it in with it in tune, let's check that clearance again. Maybe we've just got our 10. This thing has stainless steel frets, which is just lovely because yeah, look at that. I've got my 
just by tuning it, it put enough um, tension on it, it just slips under, so cool. So this has just a, a look-see on this thing. Let me unplug the noise maker, hold on. Need a new cable. Um, so it has the Spurzel locking tuners, which are just great. Um, I don't know if you can tell that or not. Yeah, you can see right there. They put the volute there, and you don't have the insane um, Gibson uh, neck or headstock angle. So you don't find the, um, I rarely see one of these with a um, busted headstock. So going down the, um, it's got the abalone in, uh, inlays. And if we could take a very close look here, the, um, the strings on this are Diodario Zebras. So it's the, uh, the steel string wrapped with the bronze string. Um, all the way down and even the G is wrapped so you get the sound of a piezoelectric um, amplified acoustic guitar on stage and we have two Allen Holdsworths humbuckers in here uh, the H22N and the H22B they are Coil splittable, each of them. The two little switches here. And there's a phase switch too. So, and then your volume is your, this is your master volume. This is your crossfade between the acoustic side, a blend with a detent in the middle, and then full on electric. And you have a, a master volume for your electric and a master volume for your uh, or, or master tone for your electric master tone for your um, acoustic and of course your three-way switch it's got a beautiful maple top on it as you can see um, it's got what they call a natural binding to it if you notice here you've got you can either come out with one cable into your uh, system or you can run to two separate amps I don't usually use this. I just usually go right to the house through my um, pedal board with this here. But yeah, the uh, it's got a five-piece maple mahogany neck through. So the oops, can't get in the movie. <clears throat> your uh, your access, which I really don't play lead, but your access is is uninhibited all the way up there. It's just a gorgeous guitar. And for you guys who snub your nose at, oh, I'm not going to buy anything that I can't play right off the shelf, um, you're missing out because they make great stuff. And if you're a budget buyer, not a Squire budget buyer, but a somebody who wants a very good instrument without spending a lot of money, these don't really hold their value super great but uh, so you can pick up this instrument which purchased new was fifteen hundred dollars now they fetch about six or seven so yeah uh, the Carvin AE 185 have a good weekend we'll see you later I've got to go to my granddaughter's birthday party